So the thing about soil health, I guess, we're trying to capture an idea around soil's functionality, its ability to function. So what we have to start with is coming at it from what is that, that function that, that we want the soil to be performing? And there are a number of functions that soil performs and how we therefore perceive it in relation to those, I think is important when we think about our soil's health. So those functions might be, say, one around food and fiber production. So standing here in a cotton crop, if we're looking at the health of this soil, we might say, well, am I producing a, a good crop? Can I sustainably and continually produce this crop? And that might be a good way for me to say, all right, my soil health is good. Another function of soil that it performs is around waste and, I guess, water filtration and capture. So if we're thinking more about that, and that might be our general wider landscape. You know, if you think about when it rains, how that water flows over our landscape, makes its ways into our rivers and systems, and the landscape is helping to filter it before it gets there and even hold some of it up as well. So our soil health might be good if we're thinking about that way in which we capture and maintain or filter our water. Our waste, the waste that we produce, you know, we, we bury a lot of that. So that's a very interesting thought around how our soil manages to capture our waste. And, and I guess with our waste as well, a lot of the time we're burying it. And that could be another aspect of our soil in terms of function. We might be thinking about our soil's function to preserve and um, I guess capture or maintain our archeological or our prehistorical history. Um, paleontologists would be nowhere unless our soils had built up on top of those dinosaurs. And here in Australia, I think it's very important that we're respectful and mindful of the of the cultures and people that used to roam these lands, even if we're now heavily managing them. And bear in mind that there are artifacts often in those landscapes. So where our soil's preserving them, that might be a soil health aspect we consider. Another thing we might think about, and I think this is often where there's a bit of friction, is um, we have this real potential as well to actually look at soil to function as a support for our infrastructure, our houses, our roads, our rails, our you know, all of the things we take for granted in everyday life. We seal the soil so often under concrete or tarmac and that's an important function because we rely on that but it's also important to remember the fact that once we've done that you know it can't capture that water it can't support the life that's in it and so maybe our soil health is degraded although the function of the soil to support that infrastructure is what we're really interested in so maybe whilst that soil might become kind of dead to us it's actually very healthy in terms of providing that infrastructure support and the final one that i guess that takes us to is around that life that biology our soil is full of life. Um, we were talking earlier today, and I think there's general consensus, you know, that our soil is teeming with biology, bacterial, fungal, invertebrate, and that biology, we, we use the term as ubiquitous, it's everywhere. And so when we're thinking about how soil preserves that biology, how it functions as a home for that biology, then when we think about soil health there, we have to start thinking about what that soil health is, what that biology is, how active is it, how diverse is it, how functionally capable is it? And that becomes more complicated. And I think that's another important thing. So we, we can have function. We can have then how we relate health to carrying out that function. But when we start to drill down, and for most of us in agricultural setting, it's about productivity. It's about nutrient recycling, about water retention and crop productivity. What is the biology doing in that soil and, and how healthy is it? And I think there we start to fall into the grounds of you know, our need to measure stuff. Why do we want to measure stuff? We've been brought up at a school where you know, we're taught we have to learn certain things. And we do it in everyday life. We're all, we love measuring things. And many of you will have probably been told at some point, you know, you'll be measured for your height at school, or you'll be measured for your weight more recently by your doctor. And you're always told, oh, you know, where you sit on a curve about how tall or how heavy you are. But it doesn't mean to say you're any more or less healthy. Um, so health, soil health in that regard then just becomes a great engagement term. And I think that's what I love about it. I mean, Bill, you asked me for a definition, and to me, the definition is, it's something we can all talk about. So down here on the plains, thinking about soil health, generally the soils here are pretty good. But the thing I'd want most of you to try and think about or, or to work towards would be how you could improve your organic matter returns. Not that you're going to maybe build carbon or anything else over the long term, but you could maybe reduce or stabilize the potential losses from farming. And so anything that helps recover or build that biomass. So whether that's thinking about some form of cover cropping system, as we've seen in, in use today, whether it's thinking about organic matter returns with manures or um, biosolids or anything that comes in that organic uh, tag, I guess, if you like. So something's going to help rebuild that organic matter. 
and just being mindful of your returns, you know, not cutting your stubble too low, even if the price of straw is fantastic, but being mindful that it's what we put back into our soils is really what's going to help it in the long term.